2019, 6.30 p.m. Call to order. Ms. Secretary, will you please call the roll? Here. 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 This is public hearings. There are four of them. We'll do each one just the way we do the first, second, and third one. The first one, number A, hold a public hearing on the proposed voluntary annexation of the Williams Road right of way from West Village Road to Farm to Market 2484 in Bell County, Texas. Don? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Mayor, members of the board, that is being proposed for annexation basically from uh, West Village Road all the way out to 2484. It will uh, facilitate the annexation of the existing high school property as well as the, uh, the proposed new school site for the Salado ISD. Uh, this is a hearing that's it's really rather straightforward. Uh, we have annex, we have service plans that have been developed for each of these annexation areas. Uh, and very quickly, I'll run through it uh, for police protection. Obviously, once we annex it, uh, we will be patrolling Williams Road on a regular basis. Uh, for fire protection, the fire department will continue to provide services under contract with us for that particular area. Uh, solid waste collection, again, we don't have a single solid waste provider. We have franchisees, and uh, that area would be served by one of our franchisees or all of our franchisees, depending on the choice of the property owners. Uh, wastewater service uh, will be available upon annexation. As we've talked about that, we've completed the line extension. Uh, water service uh, will be provided by the Salado Water Supply Corporation. Uh, maintenance of roads, we obviously would assume maintenance of Williams Road upon annexation. Parks, <coughs> playgrounds, and swimming pool, there are no plans for any of those services out there. They'll be using the existing city services, which include Pace Park and, of course, Serena Park. Uh, street lighting, no plans to put any additional street lighting out there on our park. Uh, library services will be unchanged. They, that's in the library district, so they're obligated to serve that particular area right now. Planning and zoning, uh, obviously, uh, with this right of way, the right of way basically would be incorporated into our planning and zoning efforts. Uh, electrical service is, uh, again, uh, through retail service providers, uh, Encore, the, the base provider. Uh, building code enforcement inspection, much the same uh, as currently exists for all the other properties in the village. Uh, so, with that said, it's available for you for public hearings. Questions, please, to Don. <laughs> Don, the, uh, uh, thank you for your time in putting this together and everything, but uh, is there an explanation on why we're doing this on a Monday night and having to call a uh, special hearing on this? Can you sort of explain that to the benefit sure. of our audience? Absolutely. We don't like special meetings any more than you do, but once you start the annexation process, there's a statutory process uh, that you're obligated to meet, and in order to meet, the, there's spacing between meetings and between hearings and consideration, and in this situation, uh, based on our meeting schedule, it, it obligated us to have at least one special meeting in conjunction with this. All of the other actions will be taken during regular meetings. Other questions, please? Hearing works this way. There are three calls to come forward for the hearing. I'll do this. First call, anyone that wants to speak might come, please, for three minutes. Then put your name and your address before us and three minutes. It's, it's really simple. We probably will not answer any of the questions that you might have. And if they do, it will probably be one of the aldermen or Don. So here we go. First call. Mayor, did I understand your eye not supposed to come down? Yes, uh huh. And speak in the microphone, please. Hey, Daryl, pick it up that microphone. Yeah, just get close to it. Well, the first thing I want to do, I'm here tonight just speaking as one trustee, not, not for the school board. I have one more meeting left on the school board. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm here speaking for me. I want to thank you guys for your diligence, your hard work. This has been a labor of love for you guys, but it certainly has been for me. I've been trying or pushing to get Thomas Arnold Elementary back when it was all we had that needed to be annexed annex for a long time. I've, I've always known the benefits to it. I never did know the disadvantages to it, but as y'all know, it's a lengthy process, has to 
go through so many hoops and all, but I appreciate it. I very sincerely do appreciate you guys' hard work and diligence. I've always told my wife that if I ever find a bottle with a genie in it, there's two things I want out of the three. One of them is to see Thomas Arnold Road and now this new school is annexed into the city. And the second one, I want to be there for the first flush that goes into that sewer that we waited on so long and you guys did a marvelous job bringing that to us. Mm. And for those that don't know how good it is, they should have been around several years ago when it was ever septic tank and probably Slato was out of compliance. So you guys have been a great job. I appreciate y'all's cooperation with the school. It's made our job so much easier. And, and thanks again for everything. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you. Second call for anyone who wishes to speak. Third call for anyone who wishes to speak. The time is 6 7, 6 37. We're now back into the agenda. This is the first reading, 29 April, which is today. The next reading will be. 16 May. This is a two hearing purpose and the vote will be in June. Don, number B, hold a public hearing on the proposed voluntary annexation of Salado School Road right of way from West Village Road to Thomas Arnold Road in Bell County, Texas. Don? Uh, yes, sir. This is basically uh, the annexation of Salado School Road portion of that currently owned by the school district, the rest of it owned by Bell County. Uh, this will facilitate the uh, annexation of the school properties uh, known as elementary school and such uh, there at the intersection of uh, Thomas Arnold and, and uh, Salado School Road. <clears throat> Much like the previous item, we have a service plan that's been developed for this particular area. Uh, the biggest noted change is we will be maintaining Salado School Road as opposed to Williams Road in this particular annexation. Uh, so uh, before you tonight for public hearing. First call for public hearing. The time is 6.38. Second call for public hearing. Third call for public hearing. Mayor, I have a question for Surely. you. Uh, for clarification. Why is the city annexing the road itself? Are you annexing the road or the right of way on the road or? We're annexing the right of way, uh, which includes the asphalt pavement as well as the adjacent right of way. The adjacent right of way on which side? On the inside or on the Both outside? Both sides. Both sides. All of the, all of the Slater School right of way. They'll be added to that survey. Any more questions, Tim, that you might have? We're coming out at this public hearing. It is now 640. C. Hold a public hearing on the proposed voluntary annexation of the Salado Independent School District Properties located on Williams Road in Bell County, Texas. Don? Uh, yes, sir. Mayor, members of the board, this is the required public hearing for the proposed annexation of the uh, Williams Road Salado ISD properties. As you know, they have petitioned us for voluntary annexation. Uh, we've developed a service plan for this particular area. A little bit more detail on the service plan is worth noting, and that is upon annexation of the subject area, we anticipate entering into an interlocal agreement with the Salado ISD relating to the provision of the school resource officer services for the SISD campuses. Of course, we'll also provide police protection, which right now they're getting from Bell County. For fire protection, they're currently served by the fire department, as we are too, uh, through contract, and that will not change. 
um, for the edification, uh, people's edification for the particular property. The nearest fire station to the subject property is Fire Station 2, which is located about uh, oh, 150 feet from the subject area. That's the fire station out on 2484. Uh, the nearest emergency medical service unit is stationed out at Fire Station Number 2, so it too is about 150 feet from the subject area. Uh, from solid waste collection standpoint, again, uh, we have franchisees and, and those individuals, those properties would, would be serviced by those franchisees, uh, the choice of the property owner. Uh, water service by Salado Water Supply Corporation. Um, sanitary sewer service, uh, as you know, upon annexation, uh, right now the service has just finished the installation of the lines out to the property. So upon annexation, wastewater service to the uh, property uh, will be made available. <coughs> Maintenance of roads and streets. Again, we will assume responsibility for Williams Road upon annexation as far as maintenance. Uh, parks and playgrounds, swimming pools, again, they'll have the full right and ability to use our, our parks in town right now. Uh, library service, again, is provided by the library district. So they're within the boundaries of the library district. There are no plans for any additional street lighting out on Williams Road by the city. Uh, from a planning and zoning standpoint, uh, the village's uh, planning and zoning jurisdiction will extend to the subject area on the effective date of the annexation ordinance. It should be noted that we will uh, come in upon annexation and, and formally uh, zone the property uh, in accordance with our zoning ordinance. Uh, so it's properly designated and shown on our zoning maps. Electrical service, uh, we will not be providing services. They'll use a retail provider, uh, which they're currently using at the high school, I assume. Uh, building, inspector, building inspection, code enforcement, and permitting. Um, as you know, they'll, they'll automatically come under our building code. Uh, they'll come under our permitting provisions. Uh, and, and they'll also come into our code enforcement aspect like every other property in the village uh, from that standpoint. The plan itself details the various versions of the codes that are currently in place. I think it should be noted, and that is we have several interlocal agreements that we'll be presenting at the time the annexation ordinance comes forth for adoption. We've talked about those on numerous occasions. One relates to the reimbursement for the wastewater line installation which has taken place. The other interlocal agreement relates to their obligation to connect to the system. Uh, and the waiver of the, the impact fees, which we've talked about. And then the third agreement we're going to bring you relates to future development fees and future permitting fees. Uh, as you know, we're not interested in double taxation. When we start taxing them or start levying fees on them, they turn around and tax the taxpayers. So the, the thought process is one entity should, should do that. And our feeling is with the school district that we should waive those permit fees. They would only be responsible for paying any type of fees uh, relating to plan reviews or relating to inspections that the village incurs from our outside contractors. They'll also have the opportunity, if they so choose, to use a third party inspector or plan review team and provide us with some type of documentation of compliance to avoid that process altogether. Uh, so with that said, Mayor, uh, it's before you tonight for a public hearing. Questions to Don? <coughs> Public hearing is open. It is now 7.43. First call. Second call for anyone who desires to speak. They would basically be responsible for the cost the city incurs from Bureau of Veritas. So it would be a pass. No. Okay, but whatever. Right. right. Basically they're covering our they're covering our cost. Or they have the ability to use their own contractors if they so choose. And just for the for the edification and the in the record. Uh, we'll also have some provisions in that latter agreement relating to the development that, that clarify. I think there's some concern um, among the school district's legal counsel about making sure that um, if there are existing signs and those type of things, that those are grandfathered. And so we've noted that in the agreement uh, so that that should remedy any concerns. I think there's concern that the village may turn around and say, oh, no marquees allowed. We're not going to do that. So those are protected by law. They're protected through our ordinance as well as they're protected by law. So there should be no issues. Third call. I'm John Newman. I live 2221 Chisholm Trail. And uh, it is not really a double taxation if we charge them an impact fee because they encompass a much larger area than Salado. And I think, we should, I think they should pay an impact fee. Therefore, it's spread across 
their entire taxing district versus just concentrated on our, that we're taking the hit by not collecting that impact fee. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Is there anyone else? This is the third call. The hearing is closed. It is now 745. D, hold a public hearing on the proposed voluntary annexation of the Salado Independent School District properties located on Salado School Road <coughs> and Thomas Arnold Road in Bell County, Texas. Don? Uh, yes, sir. This is uh, the last of the uh, annexation issues on your agenda for tonight. Uh, this is the petition from the school district to annex uh, the roads uh, or to annex those properties that you just mentioned. The service plan remains the same with the exception uh, of road maintenance, which relates specifically to these, the streets that you're talking about. Uh, law enforcement, fire protection, garbage, wastewater, all of those services remain the same from that standpoint. So it's before you tonight for uh, consideration. Questions, please, to Don. We will be maintaining Salado School Road in this particular agreement as opposed to Thomas Arnold and Salado School Road. Public hearing. First call. So, Jeannie Lively, I'm with Salado Public Library District and we are here tonight just to express our support for this and to thank you for doing this because we believe in supporting the families and the children's of our children of our communities and so we just wanted to thank you very much for taking all this work and time to do this. Thank you. Second call. Third call. Public hearing is closed. It is 7.48. Mayor, very quickly, let me, uh, for the public edification, let them know where we're going from here tonight. As, as you know, this was a special meeting uh, to try to fit the annexation schedule set up by the state. Uh, our next hearing, next public hearing, there'll be a notice published in this week's paper. Uh, the next public hearing will be on 5-16, which is May 16th. Uh, and then the first reading of the annexation ordinance for these four areas will be on June the 6th. And the second and final reading uh, with adoption of the final service plan and everything would be on 6-20 of 19. Uh, so those are the dates. Those are all during regular board meetings. Good. Good. Thank you, Don. Yes. Jeannie, would you introduce the new president of the library? Jocelyn, would you like to say anything? Thank you, Joycelyn. Jeannie, thank you for a beautiful library. It is very, very nice, but most of all, my favorite part of it has to be the book sale room. <laughs> it's very, very good. But thank you for it. It's beautiful, and it's just another example of what Salado is all about. So thank you for that, Jocelyn. We look forward to talking to you and visiting with you. If there's no other business. Mayor, one, one note very quickly, just uh, for y'all's edification and the audience's edification. Uh, TxDOT uh, notified us last Friday that they are planning to initiate construction on the Main Street Improvement Project on the 6th of May. Uh, and they will hold an open house here at City Hall from 4.30 to 6 on Wednesday for anybody who's interested in coming and looking at their plans and talking to them and, and talking to them about timing. The game plan at this stage of the game is they're going to be starting on the south end of Main Street. 
they're going to work on the west side first, and then once they finish the west side, they'll move over to the east side. Uh, the estimated completion time is, is summer of uh, 2020, and uh, the, the game plan still is for a closure of Main Street at Rock Creek on January the 5th, and there's a 40-day window, but there's incentives built into that window, which means the sooner the contractor gets out of there, before the 40-day window, they get paid. So I would expect that window to be expedited. The approximate cost to this? $5.2 million. How much? $5.2 million. Well, it keeps going up, doesn't it? $5.2 million. How much of that does the village have to pay? None. None of it. That's excellent. That is really excellent. I Thank just you. wanted to point out from 4.30 to 6 here, it's an open house. Okay. Very well. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Mayor, before that, I, I want to thank uh, the entire Salado ISD for what they've done the past uh, several years, Mr. Street, right? The past several years, and, and their most outstanding superintendent, uh, Dr. Michael Novotny, because without, without the help of, of these guys over there, uh, this wouldn't have taken place. And so the people of, of Salado need to really, really express their appreciation to that board and to their most outstanding administration for being a major part in um, making sure this happens. So thank you very much, bouquets to both of you guys. And Michael, I really do hope that you will stay another 10 or 15 years. Don't even think about other jobs up there in the DFW area, even though they do pay a much higher salary than, than you receive. But that might prompt your board maybe to put you in line with, with them. I certainly hope that can happen within the next few months. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I, I can. I will not do that because I want you to stay here. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion for adjournment, please. Motion's been made. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Oh, we've been here all night. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it is now um, eight minutes.